In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. We welcome those who join us via live streaming. We recognize that being confined is not easy. Not being able to be present physically at the Eucharist is not easy. But we invite you to join us spiritually, be united with us in this prayer of the church. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now pause and call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the center of our thoughts, merely to see him as a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others. Indifferent are his ways. He judges us debased, He holds aloof from our path as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hands of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the broken He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the broken
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel to Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of the tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's readings prepare us for Good Friday. What the Book of Wisdom speaks of regarding an innocent man who annoys those in leadership because he speaks the truth and claims to have a special relationship with God prompts them to plot to do away with him and then taunt him because God does not seem to rescue him. All of this becomes literally fulfilled in the passion and the death of our Lord. But it is today's gospel passage that provides a unique perspective on how the innocent man, Jesus, responded. Jesus is obviously aware of his origin, his identity, his mission, and his destiny. And notice he refuses to be just a victim but wants to reveal himself as ultimately a victor. He's not going to be just the sacrifice offered, but he's going to become the priest offering himself in sacrifice. This is the mystery of our redemption. How does this central mystery of our faith help us today as we address all that is involved with the coronavirus? Can we too move from being victim to victor, from being sacrificed to becoming priest. Human lockdowns can create 
the time and space for more communion with God. How often have we squeezed prayer out of our lives because of our busyness? Now the space and the time are available. Physical distancing can awaken in us an appreciation for intentional social solidarity. Have we been ignoring opportunities of reaching out electronically to those who are sick, lonely, those caring for them, our stressed healthcare workers, those of you who are limited to spiritual engagement in this Eucharist today, have an opportunity to awaken a deeper participation in the sacramental life of the church when the current restrictions are lifted. Your interior expression of desire to be physically present to the sacramental self-offering of the Lord and united with him in communion can actually deepen and strengthen your sacramental communion later on. And for us all, cynicism, anger, even vitriol can subside in favor of constructive, civil, charitable, life-giving discourse, whether personal or public. At 12 noon today, Pope Francis will be inviting us and the whole world to that disposition of mind and heart that renders us receptive to God's redemptive love. To move from victimhood to share in his victory. From sacrifice to priest. He will invite us to a repentant and transformative way of life, first expressed in the heart and then in, with the intention of living out, so as to receive that specially indulgenced blessing that can remove from us temporal punishment due to our sins. At the beginning of this Eucharist, we prayed in the Collect Prayer. O oh God, who have prepared these fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and then reflect them in the holy way of life we live.
Shall we stand in prayer? And let us come now to our loving and saving God with the intercessions appropriate for this Lenten Eucharist and the situation we find ourselves in in our world today. That the church may show the world the way to God through repentance and prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may work together to seek peace and justice for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For freedom of spirit, that God will unbind us from possessions, grudges, and resentments, so that we may be free to love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the current pandemic, as well as the seminary community, that God may heal, protect, and protect with his strong arm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all healthcare workers, that the divine physician himself may sustain them by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed who have set foot within the gates of the heavenly Jerusalem, that they may enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come to you in humble faith. We ask you to hear our prayers and answer us according to your loving will. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters who join us via live streaming, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power 
and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again and adversaries join hands and peoples seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. Revenge gives way to forgiveness. And discord is changed in mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we also cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. Therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpowering of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. May he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. And let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
May I invite <clears throat> those of you who join us via live streaming to join in this, sacri in this spiritual communion, beginning with a short offer of repentant love. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down to receive God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel with your life. Thanks be to God.